And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some spooky Nasus. We're going to be playing a Shadow Isles Nasus deck. Usually you see this deck with Thresh and it's a Thresh Nasus deck and Thresh is really, really powerful. But I kind of like, you know, I kind of like the look of this list. We don't have Thresh in here and I want to try it out without Thresh because like the main reason to not play Thresh is that we get this Rite of Calling in the deck where we are able to make sure that we draw Nasus with Rite of Calling. I think that could be pretty cool. Uh, we, we have like all these like little things to sacrifice um, and we sacrifice something and make sure that we have more Nasus in our hand. Now that's kind of our goal is to, to slay our own units, slay our opponent's units. We're gonna have a lot of, of slaying going around because of course Nasus grows each time that you slay something. And so our goal is to have Nasus be very large. If it can strike for 10 plus, then it gets then it levels up and it gets the spell shield which really helps protect it and we basically make this as large as possible get as much damage in it early as possible and use um, nasus attacking and also atrocity to finish out the opponents we're kind of a combo deck here with nasus plus atrocity that's how we're going to be winning games and of course we'll find our nasus with the right of calling we also got other card draw with glimpse beyond spirit leech very good cards to be able to dig through the deck we got pretty good interaction for the opponent. We got Black Spears, as you all know, one of my favorite removal spells. Um, Caretaker is always great. Sand Spinner, another card that I really like. So really love those eight cards. A couple of protection spells with Ride Negation to help our atrocities. And that's that's our deck. That's our deck. So it should be pretty fun. Let's try it out. Spooky Nasus. We're heading back over to Ranked. We've had some meme tier decks here recently, but we, we're going to be going back to Ranked. So there we go. All right, so we're starting at the bottom of Master's Rank. Let's go play our five games. All right, we got Zoe Lee Sin for our first deck. They are going to be a deny deck as far as stopping atrocity goes. I really like Black Spear. Um, I like our hand in general. I'm going to keep it. Both these things attack for one. I'm going to just play the Aristocrat. It's a card that I don't care if it lives or dies. Turn one Zoe, definitely rough. So I'm not planning on playing anything on turn three, holding the three mana for Black Spear. And, you know, turn four, being able to go Spirit Leech plus Black Spear. Unfortunately, the Zoe now goes to 5 health. A very good number against Black Spear. Very possible they have deny. If they if they would have tapped out, I the reason why I didn't do anything else before combat because if they would have tapped out, I would have gone glimpse beyond, and then spear spear.
One mana short. I'd like to counter this and then have double black spear available. Really hope they don't have a Nopify. Really hope no Nopify. Because more Pill Cascades won't save it. Okay. So taking six, going down to nine. So next turn I have seven mana. I don't think I'm gonna really be able to play the Nasus. I think I'm just gonna be open attacking. Block this thing. Seven, ten, eleven. That doesn't kill them. Oh, that would kill them. So we'll see what they got. They do have 10 cards. I got a ride in negation for protection. Gain two life. Down to two. I can play the right of negation to try to go for lethal. Um, you know, killing the spirit leech. Man, is that worth it? I can basically just use this as a, you know a four mana sacrifice the spirit leech, and then you know puff buff these up for two. So, so many easy ways for them to stay alive if I do that. Um, I guess it's worth it. Because I, I feel like this is like the turn I gotta kill him. Nah. Alright, so they're down to two. Yeah, so my best draw is probably Atrocity. These Curse Keepers were not the best draws the last two turns. They were, in fact, the worst draws. Enter, Traveler, and stop staring. I kind of think I had to go for it there. All right, another Zoe deck. Hopefully not turn one Zoe again. Zoe's still pretty awesome. I'm going to keep all this. I know I only have one Curse Keeper to sacrifice right now, but we have three draws to find something else to sacrifice. Or this Ride of Calling, or just, you know, find something else. I I think the Ride of, Ride of Calling is a good one to keep, though. Mm. Oh, that's not great. But not turn one Zoe. So I can't complain. I keep a hand with, with two sacrifice things and one thing to sacrifice. And we immediately draw sacrifice thing, sacrifice thing, sacrifice thing. <laughs> Three in a row.
Alright, well. Nasus is already a 7 7. That's pretty sweet. Warm hearts and hot soup. This one's on the house. I walk through the ages. All unmeasured. Who's gonna close up? Man, <laughs> this, this has been rough. Yeah, Nasus basically has Fury. <laughs> Fury without the keyword. I wonder if this sounds like today's just been a very awkward day of this this kind of thing happening with the Team Otalia deck a lot. Now both these games we either draw all of our curse keepers or all of our what good comes in mortal uh, sacrifice cards. Punishment if I serve as an example. Activity fulfilled, a life undone. Oh, I saw it. All right, so they should still they should have the level three champion in hand, right? Or level two champion, sorry. <laughs> they should still have a level two champion in hand. They're down to 19. Make that 17. I forgot this black this black spear was just turned off in the beginning. Danger pays. I'm gonna take six. Go down to seven. Sacrifice the L1 to put the three two in play. So that makes this a thirteen six. So there should be 17 power Nasus now, right? Because it gets one from the level up, one from the kill. Yeah, so 17 power. And it has the spell shield. The future is steel and science. A little risky. Because if this doesn't work, I'm in trouble, but... There we go. Spooky Nasus. Yeah, I, I am glad my opponent was playing Howling Abyss. Howling Abyss is cool. Fiora Shen. Okay, so we're playing a bunch of small units that we want to die, and they're playing Fiora. That sounds like a bad combination for us. See what we see. Command. I'm gonna wait on the butcher to sacrifice the O one. 
Should block the Reaper. You take eleven. Still went to the fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. Pride was my end, as it will be yours. So I go. This thing still went to, to two health? Even with the top? Oh, right, 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 because Fiora's a 3 2. Right, Fiora's a 3 2 right now. <laughs> Not a 3 3 anymore. I forgot about that. I was like, I was like, how did this take two damage with the top? <laughs> That's right. Starts at 3 2. Yeah, my, my problem with blocking with the Sand Spinner, of course, is the atrocity. I just let this happen. Too easy. So they use lifesteal barrier. Okay. We had the right of negation for protection, and then they use life steel barrier. Um, we want the bigger things hitting afterwards. Zoe, Aurelian Sword. Well, again, hopefully not turn one Zoe. Ooh, I'd rather have one glimpse beyond one Nasus <laughs> if I could choose. Alright, pass. No one drop. No spacey sketcher. No Zoe. Yuck. Yeah, I wish I had glimpse, some glimpse beyonds for these things now. Our zero mana cards would be really good draws. Right of Calling or Reaper. Or, uh. Ooh, okay. Always forward. So, attack, attack. They take it. Go to 11. Yeah, I mean, these things will only attack for one. And yeah, now we don't let them block with the 1 2. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. Forgetting this death to an immortal. Hmm. I'm not going to slay anything. <laughs> we've had, we've just had a really awkward draw today, right? Like just, what was it? Like two games ago, it was all cards to all cards that said sacrifice, right? We drew like all of our zero mana cards and atrocities and all the things to sacrifice in this game. <laughs> it's, they, hey, there we go. All these things that we want to sacrifice. But no cards to actually sacrifice. There we go. It's really hard, really fast.
light warms the heart and lights the way. The mortals know what makes them. Few can know what death and eternity hold in store. We were forged in dragon fire. Uh, that's scary. We're gonna use sharp. Okay, that's good. Not, you know, like a sharp sight to kill masses. Still have five mana available. They grow up so fast. That egg, did it move? Might as well play this first, see if they tap out. I must get out of here. They do not tap out. That will do. We're three and one. Dust. Drawing this Ravenous Butcher when we did was, was definitely really clutch. We needed that Ravenous Butcher at that point. That was a really good draw. Playing against some deep. Okay. They've really leveled up Maokai, but not so much Nautilus. I wonder what other Maokai decks they're playing that's not Nautilus. Man, Atrocity is good against deep. But of course, that's for later. Mm. I like all three of these cards, but I also want to have a much earlier presence. Alright, we're going to mulligan those two. We'll be able to find another atrocity. There we go, that's better. So how are we dealing this? The Emperor commands, the land obeys. Probably just attack for four on turn one. Sacrifice the prey to the butcher. Azir's command. Warren's prey is nice. That's the second time that I played against Deep recently where they had turn one Warden's prey against my aggro deck. Will you stop? Will you stop, okay? Sorry, my doggo. Scratching up my chair if I'm not petting her. Boy, it's so hard not to pet her. There she is, right there. If I'd forgotten them, no. Yeah, Warden's Prey is nice. They forgot, but you, you cannot. Ugh. Man, that vile feast just takes down both of these three ones. Forgetting his death to an immortal. I must be known. Sure about that? So we had an awesome hand. And they had even a better hand to stop us. <laughs> they still have three more cards than we do, because we, we used a whole lot of cards. For that they just played a vile feast and a warden's prey and completely shut us down I will tend this garden. all right now this is pretty big I don't want to allow them to play something and have the free 2-1 sapling to be able to block with. We shall glimpse beyond. Protect our 
Groove. Yeah, this is this is impressive. This is like if you could draw up exactly what you could possibly want from the deep. They don't have. They haven't played like the one mana toss card, but says so that like anti aggro wise double vile feast. Warden spray. The warden spray was better than the two one toss, and then you know you have your Maokai wander. But we still have Nasus Atrocity. Still got some good stuff going on. We enter an age of men and gods. All right, so this was a big mistake by me. Big is maybe not the word, but this was a mistake by me. Yeah, they discovered a third Valve Feast, Withering Whale. Yeah, they are good against aggro. I need I need to play, and so this is something to think about for later. So I played that ride of calling, and if they're if they're keeping track, if they're if they're really focused, they know that this card right here is the card that ride of calling drew, which therefore it's a champion, and therefore there's only one champion in the deck, so it's a Nasus. And then I, I played a different card as my Nasus for turn. I should have so I should have played this one because they they already know that this card right here is a Nasus in hand if they're paying attention. Alright, so I let them block with the Wanderer, heal three. I'm worried about Vengeance. I'm worried about if I just go Siphoning Strike, they go Vengeance. My Caretaker, I don't have Atrocity available anymore, but... Maybe that is the way to go. Think carefully. Man, their deck is great against aggro. I could also just kill the Wanderer. The expanse of eternity stretched out before me. It makes more sense to kill the Wanderer than kill the Scarab, not let them just heal three. <laughs> Oh right, I forgot about the minus one minus zero. Okay, so if I would if I would have killed the scarab, then the minus one minus zero, then the wanderer is now a two two. I did forget about that. And then that thing couldn't block. All right, that's fair. That's certainly fair. I didn't think about that. Right, I forgot about that part of Nasus with the level up. Yep. Give them room to spread their leaves. But I think we're still doing just fine. But yeah, I, I forgot about that part. So there's different ways they can heal their Nexus. I can't just go Atrocity right now. We have gotten rid of three Vile Feast and two Withering Whales from their from their deck. Um, but they can still, like, I don't know, glimpse beyond this Thorny Toad. So now at three mana, like, do they play Glimpse Beyond? <laughs> That's probably not likely, right? What good comes of mortal greed? Punishment if I serve as an example. Okay, so three Vile Fees are gone. I don't think they play Glimpse Beyond. I don't, I don't think so. I think this is just a kill. I'm gonna go for it. Yay! There we go. Alright, four and one. Okay, so we end up going four and one here with Spooky Nasus. This is a fun deck to play. We also didn't like necessarily have like the best draws all the time, but we did have like some good opening hands. But yeah, Shadow Owls can put a ton of pressure on the opponent, especially with all these Ravenous Butchers. You know, so you have like your Curse Keeper, Fading Icon, Ravenous Butcher, Blighted Caretaker, like those combinations. And then you add in it from Sh Shirima, 
this Bakai Reaper and Dune Keeper. And you can put in a ton of pressure on the opponent right away, get their life total pretty low with attacking with those, and then finishing people out with Nasus and Atrocity. It's not too difficult. Not too difficult at all. So yeah, I think this is a, a, a good rank up deck. Um, quick games, um, fast games, especially when you kind of get, like, if you start playing the deck a little bit, you get more used to, like, what the games are like um, and everything and, like, how the, the play style happens. I liked that uh, Ride of Calling to help find Nasus because multiple Nasus is usually pretty good of, like, having that uh, Siphoning Strike is pretty good of, like, we saw there basically that last game. We, we Siphoning Strike, make... Uh, make Nasus level up so that then it has the spell shield and then you have your atrocity available after that. Um. Yep, we won. We did win. We are four and one. So there we go. So that was Spooky Nasus. Now, would the deck have been better with Thresh? I don't know. Thresh is awesome. Thresh is very good. So maybe... But I think that it's just fine without Thresh, as we saw with those games. Um, maybe the best version does have Thresh. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I liked I liked uh, this deck of like playing something a little different without Thresh and trying the Rite of Calling to just make sure that we have Nasus more often because this is really like the card that you want in the late game. Right? Like this is how you're going to be finishing a lot of games is with Nasus and with Atrocity. And while leveled up Thresh pulls Nasus, and like that's like the best case scenario is like playing a Thresh and having it level up and put Nasus into play. Like if that ever happens, like game's basically over, right? Like that's like the best case scenario. But that doesn't happen all the time. And so with having those um, rights and the glimpses and the spear leeches, we get to draw lots of cards and find those Nasus. All right, so there we go. That's Spooky Nasus. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, Hit the like button over there, and of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the deck, and uh, let me know, um, yeah, how you enjoyed it. You got other deck ideas you want to see here on stream, on Meme Tier Monday, you know, anything like that, all those comments. Um, how about the channel, and I enjoy seeing them as well, so, um, you know, leave a comment. All right, but that's all I got here for Spooky Nasus, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.